So here's an example of uh, endogeneity in a regression. Suppose we have a regression uh, that has as dependent variable the crime rate uh, and as independent variable uh, some measure of police resources, whether it's personnel, whether it's funding for police, whether it's equipment for police. And we're interested as a perennial public policy question in estimating beta 1, how much does an extra, say, dollar of police resources reduce the crime rate in, in that given police uh, jurisdiction, right? So we might normally think more resources for police, that will reduce the crime rate. So we collect our data and run this, uh, run this regression. Uh, but immediately, of course, somebody should point out that the causality could just as likely work the other way around. That is, that the crime rate is what causes police to get more resources. So the amount of resources that police have is a political outcome between the voters and the um, council members and, uh, and the city council, uh, and the more voters perceive that the crime rate is a problem, the more likely they are to elect uh, council members who will be more willing to devote more public resources to the policing as opposed to any of the other uh, priorities for public resources. So we have a classic uh, simultaneous equation case where uh, we have, uh, sorry, where we have police uh, resources causing the crime rate, uh, influencing the crime rate, and the, so police resources influence the crime rate, um, but uh, the crime rate influences police resources. And so we have circular causality, right? One is causing the other, and uh, any single equation estimate will be biased. So we could be a criminologist interested in how police resources affect the crime rate. We could be political scientists uh, interested in how the crime rate affects police resources. Um, and both of these equations will produce biased estimates of their coefficients of interest. We need other techniques which we haven't talked about. You have to wait to Econ 70, 173 uh, for those other techniques, but we need other techniques for estimating these kinds of equations. If you're interested in this particular kind of uh, endogeneity, then uh, Professor uh, Jennifer Doliak is the person to follow. She has a podcast uh, blog where she um, podcasts about papers in uh, crime, the economics of crime, uh, that tries to address this endogeneity. It's well worth um, taking a look at.